Everyone up there in silver and gold are laughing at me. What a pitiful attempt at a medal this is. Little do they realize that I'm not competing with them yet. I'm only cleaning up the leftovers of something much, much bigger. Laugh away, for we are in the presence of... Yo. So, I was farming cactus in the garden the other day when I realized... Wow, I suck at farming cactus. My farm was way too small to go for even more than five minutes, and I missed half the cactus anyway because I made it wrong. <sighs> Guess I'm rebuilding this. Alright, let's get rid of these rows with the builder's ruler, and we'll just remake the whole thing the right way. Now, I'm not exactly sure what the best cactus farm design is, but... Uh... Why didn't those break? Did I just find a bug? The answer was yes, I had just found a bug. But the question was, could I exploit that bug for views? Okay, I can break them manually and still get cactus from them, so they're not ghost blocks. I'm gonna run a little experiment. I'm curious if the bug still works the same way every time. I think it has something to do with some of the cacti being out of render distance when you use the builder's ruler. So I'm gonna turn that all the way down and see if that affects how many cacti get glitched. I set up these layers of cacti in a row. The idea is, if the bug still works, I can builder's ruler the top row of dirt and sand, and the cacti below those rows will grow into the glitch cacti at the top. And yes, some of them are still here. Not sure why it's only some of them, but that's fine. We can work with that. Now we wait. It's been like 10 minutes. The anticipation is killing me. Just waiting for one of these to grow into the floating cacti above. But you know what they say, a watched cactus never grows. Point proven. Yes! It fucking works. Guys, I think I just found my new cactus farm design. So normally it's not possible to make a cactus more than three blocks tall in the garden. You can't manually place cacti on top of other ones. So this was very game breaking, but how far could I take it? All right, I'm just waiting for this last cactus to grow. These things only grow if I don't look at them. So maybe if I just kind of look away, yeah. Yeah, there we go. So time to do the final layer. Boom, boom. So I figured out the builder's ruler can break up to 241 blocks at once. Of those 241 blocks, 155 blocks at the end of the row are affected by the bug. So now we wait again. Holy shit, look at this thing. It's big. It's huge. It's a mega cactus. I was very excited to find this bug because it meant I had a shot at getting a game breaker, which is an item admins sometimes give to players who discover and report game breaking exploits. This would probably qualify, especially if the cacti gave XP when I broke them. So I started experimenting. Unfortunately, the build height limit in the garden is only 10 blocks up from bedrock. So I can't make these any taller unless I go to my private island, but this is still insane looking. If I hit the second block here with my cactus knife, eight cactus blocks total should break, but I should only get the XP and cactus drops from six of those blocks because two of them were placed by me, which means no XP from those. If this works as expected, this farm will produce three times the normal amount of farming XP and cactus. Now the moment of truth. Will these give me more farming XP and cacti? But first, we have a birthday to celebrate. Today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends, just turned four years old. Four years of saving YouTubers from demonetization. Thank you, Raid. Oh, how far we've come in just four years. Over 10 million players worldwide have already downloaded this game in less than six months, so like since my last upload. Now with over 80 million active players across the world, Raid stands out as one of the best and highest rated mobile RPG games in the App Store. Collect over 700 unique champions and customize them with literally billions of builds. PvP online or follow quests to earn rewards. All completely, totally free. My favorite price. Some things never change, like Raid's dazzling graphics. Comparable to some of the biggest PC and console titles out there. Some things do change, like my old haircut. <laughs> Can't say this is much of an improvement, but at least I don't need a comb now. And just like my hair, Raid doesn't stand still either. It's constantly improving and has developed and changed a lot with regular updates and content. Like the brand new Live Arena PvP feature where you can put your champions to the test against other real players in the queue. They got Live Arena quests and new artifacts to hunt there, but that's not all. Raid's four-year anniversary celebration will include free gifts, promo codes, and new events. There's a lot to get excited about, so if you don't already have the game, you can download it for free at the link in the description, or scan this QR code to get some sweet bonuses. Like this epic champion, Kellen the Shrike, as well as energy refills, magic potions, and XP brews. And if you're an Amazon Prime member who just got Gimbo, keep an eye out for the next drop with some powerful Savage gear. Thank you again to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video and providing us with four years of memes and financial stability. Now enjoy the rest of the video. Will these give me more farming XP and cacti? Okay. 
Why did it only break five? Hypixel, the garden is broken. Please fix the top three blocks on my glitch cactus not breaking. So for some reason, these ones don't break, but I did get the XP and cacti from five total blocks, which is weird because one of them was placed by me. I guess the game is coded so that you get XP from any cactus block above the base cactus. I can break each one from the top down, and as you can see, I got XP and drops from all of them except for the very bottom one. This was still fine. Five cactus per block broken is still 2.5 times the normal amount from farming these. I just had to fill up a few plots with the mega cactus and see if we can make a fully functioning farm with them. All right, I'm going to fill this plot up with a layer of sand, a block in between, then dirt, then sand. Sand. And I know this top row isn't necessary since I can only break five cactus blocks at a time, but I want it to look cool for the thumbnail. So one more block in between, dirt and sand. Now we got this plot set up for the cactus to be placed. Let's save that as a preset so we can paste it down a few more times in the adjacent plots. We'll call the preset uh, Mega Cactus. Save the preset, paste it down here, and rip my potato, wart, and wheat farms. Those only took like six hours to build. I'll recover. This is for a bigger cause. Now, the reason I didn't plant the cactus first before saving the preset is because I tested earlier and you can't copy and paste crops using presets, unfortunately. So we're going to have to build this farm all manually just so we can farm it once. Maybe we can get on the leaderboards for the highest cactus collection score during a Jacobs contest. Actually, that's going to be my goal for this video. If I can get a high score, that'll prove how game breaking this is, and hopefully I can get a game breaker or get banned. Either way, it's nice clickbait. Okay, I filled up six plots with these layers of dirt and sand. Now we just gotta fill in all these with cactus. Boom, 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 boom. And there we go. Let's wait for the top ones to grow. All grown. Now we begin removing the rows below. I measured 241 blocks out from the beginning of the first plot to maximize the amount of mega cactus I can get, which should be 155 blocks of mega cactus per row if I measure correctly. Boom, boom, and it's perfect. I measured it correctly and the bug is still working. F yes, game breaker, here we come. But shortly after removing some of the rows, I ran into a small problem. The builder's ruler has a cooldown, of course. This feels, uh, familiar. Your ruler is temporarily fatigued. Your ruler is temporarily fatigued. Your ruler is temporarily fatigued. Every 10 rows, I had to wait a minute or so to do any more. God, this is going to take forever. I probably have to do this for like 10 total plots to have enough mega cactus to farm for 20 minutes straight during Jacob's contest. But I had an idea to make it go faster. My perfect solution to all skyblock problems, alt accounts. Helper man, Lego builder 9000. You guys mind helping me out with this farm? Good. You don't have a f***ing choice in before I get more profile boosting comments. Not profile boosting if they're in the same profile. Now I can remove these layers three times faster. Gotta get this done quickly before they patch this shit. Okay, so that took a few hours. Once those bottom cacti grow into the top ones, we'll have our first section of MEGA CACTUS complete. And we got it, boys. Just over two and a half plots are done. We still got a lot of work ahead of us, though. Since I can't copy and paste crops with presets, I gotta do all of that about three or four more times to completely fill 10 plots. So that's what I did. I connected the rows again, measured 241 blocks out from the end of the last section, builders ruler the blocks underneath, broke all the two block tall glitched cacti, embarrassing myself and several farming contests in the process, waited for the cactus underneath to grow, builders ruler the second layer, waited for the bottom layer to grow, and then repeated the process four more times. It took me a total of about 10 hours to fill all 10 plots with the MEGA CACTI! What I didn't realize at the time was that Hypixel had recently released an update that allowed you to paste crops using presets, so long as you had those crops in your inventory or sacks. I figured that out after I made the whole 10 plot farm manually. Yeah. Fun. But anyway, it works now. I could farm the whole thing and just paste the presets when I needed to replenish it. But before I did any farming, I needed to set up each end of the farm so I could do this one-handed without stopping. The most popular one-handed cactus farm design is like this. You farm a two-wide row of cactus until you get to the end, a launch pad shoots you forward to the next row, and then you go back the other way. The problem with this design is that it's not very space-saving. A whole third of the farm is taken up by walking space, so I want to make the rows four cactus wide like I had in my old farm. But the problem with that design is that you can only farm half of each row. When you get to the very end of the farm, you have to turn around and start farming the other half, which one, loses you a lot of time turning around, and two, isn't possible anyway because the zigzagging launch pad configuration only works in one direction. So here's what I came up with. At the end of each row, instead of moving forward to the next one, I stop on this block here, clear the second half of this row, and then get launched to the next row. So right, left, launch, right, left, launch. You get the idea. I lose a little bit of space with this design because I have to make each row one block longer than the last, but it's still significantly better than having two wide rows. Now that we had our perfect farm design, we needed to maximize our farming fortune so that we could set a record that nobody would ever beat. I was in a race against the clock to get my record in there before they patched the bug. So I did a test run with the current equipment I have, and I got just over a million cactus during a contest, which is like better than I've ever done, and I think most people have ever done on the leaderboards. But the current highest score for a single cactus farming contest is 1,638,400 
set by Kunsksen. I partied one of his co-op members because he was offline at the time and asked them how he was able to set his leaderboard record because what the fuck, dude? They said he was unsure how it happened and it was maybe two to three years ago. <coughs> Macros. <coughs> Excuse me. Seriously, though. No way this dude casually got 1.6 million cactus in a contest just by accident. I'm skeptical, but since that was the only information we had and he wasn't currently banned for macros, I had to take his word for it. If he was telling the truth, it must have just been a random one-time bug because nobody else on the leaderboard even came close to his score. I was kind of hoping to get some elite cactus farming strategies from that guy. Instead, I went to the cactus collection leaderboards to find someone who could help. Statistics holds the highest position for cactus collection on the server with over 1.2 billion cactus. I went to his island where he was nice enough to loan me his cultivating 10 cactus knife for this video. This has got to be one of only a couple of cactus knives on the whole server with over a billion on the counter. Thank you very much for the loan, statistics. Don't worry, I'm not going for your collection leaderboard position, you absolute psycho. He also loaned me his racing helmet, which actually decreased my farming fortune, but allowed me to walk at 500% speed, which is much more efficient than farming cactus at 400% speed, despite the lower farming fortune. All right, gamers, I'd say we're almost ready to make our record-breaking cactus contest attempt. We got a 1 billion counter cultivating 10 cactus knife, ancient recombobulated rancher's boots, a fermento chest plate and leggings, both ancient and recombed, an ancient recombed racing helmet, a full strengthened recombed lotus equipment set with over 2,000 visitor offers accepted, a level 100 mushroom cow with a minnows relic, farming level 60, foraging level 50, and garden level 15 with maximum crop upgrades on cactus, giving us a grand total of 823 farming fortune. Ain't no way anyone's got a higher farming fortune for cactus farming. Well, maybe a few people do, but I doubt anyone else with a higher farming fortune knows about this bug. <clears throat> I was wrong. Wait, hold up. This dude Yarns found the bug as well. I guess he saw my 1 million plus leaderboard score and partied me. What's your fortune? Uh, hopefully more than you? 823? I got 841 in Garden 15, but if you want to get it, I'll let you. Let me what? Get a higher score? No, 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 no. I can't win like that. I had to beat this guy fair and square. And what's more fair than... Pay to win. Time to max out my farming fortune perk in the community shop. All right, here's $100 worth of gems. Creator code the original ace for 5% off at checkout. And yes, I got paid back a percentage of the sale from Hypixel by using my own code, YouTube rank OP. And here we go. Garden farming fortune three, skip the weight. Garden farming fortune four, skip. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we're out of gems. <sighs> Okay, Hypixel, here's 25 bucks. You better get a game breaker for this. You may need to log out and log back in to receive the full effects. Bet. You were kicked while joining that server. Thank you, Hypixel. And 10. Our farming fortune is now 855. That should definitely be enough to set a nearly unbeatable cactus contest record. But I wasn't done yet because I am an insane person. I figured out I could get three extra farming fortune by using max training weights every two minutes. Unless I wanted to max out my visitors, talismans, and skyblock level, then I think 858 was about the highest farming fortune I was going to get. This guy was nice enough to give me eight max training weights, which was just enough to fill our hotbar during the contest, plus one to use just before the contest starts. Am I taking this too far? I think some might say so, but nah. This is just a casual, fun little video I'm making. Oh shit, the contest is starting. I'll rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the MEGA CACTUS of the Garden Island and Skyblock, and to the Capitalist Empire, for which it stands, one exploit under Sam, with farming XP and cacti for all. Admins, please don't ban me for this. Let the contest begin. Plasma flux down here, activate my weird tuba, drop a training weight, fill my hotbar, and let's go. So, we got 1,203 cactus during that contest. It's not technically a number one record, but this was different than just having some random stupid bug happen to you by accident like this guy did. This was a carefully thought out and flawlessly designed... Um, uh, I mean, it's also just a random stupid bug that happened to me by accident too, but... It Shut up. Whatever he did was probably way less cool, so I win. Number one on the leaderboards for people who intentionally tried to get there. Breaking news! Hypixel just released a garden update! New farming reforges, enchantments, and talismans! The farming fortune is astronomical, but with the update came bug fixes. The mega cactus can no longer be pasted with presets. Existing cactus farms, however, still stand untouched by the update and can only be farmed one time. Will Ace manage to claim his number one spot on the leaderboard with one final attempt? Find out next time in another exciting episode of the Mega Cactus. Just kidding. I, uh, I beat the record. 1,650,000 cactus. No cool montage for that one, though. This video is already way too long.
Very exciting. Anyway, let's talk profit. Besides going broke from buying all the new farming shit, my record-breaking contest earned me just under 18 million coins. 14 million from the cactus, 1.7 million from the fermentos, and 1.6 million from the mushrooms. Plus, I got 360,000 farming XP from that one contest, and my visitors filled up at, like, the speed of light. In other words, because of this game-breaking glitch, farming was actually worth doing for late-game profit for the first time in Skyblock history. So I reported this bug about a month ago when I first found it, and at the time of recording this, it hasn't been completely patched. Pasting presets doesn't work anymore, but the floating cacti is still a thing, so you can still manually build one of these farms if you got about 10 hours to spare. However, I strongly recommend not using this bug, because one, stay the fuck away from my leaderboard position, and two, you very likely could get banned. I only abused the bug a few times for the sake of this video, but it's obviously not an intentional game design, and should definitely not be used by anyone for progression, no matter how tempting it was when I was trying to max out my visitors on a basically solo profile. Oh hey, we got the spaceman here to celebrate my accomplishment, and he wants to buy 39,000 melons. Why did you come all the way from space to visit the server largest cactus farm only to buy fucking melons if anyone finds an infinite melon glitch uh, let me know terrible service okay get the out of here with your space helmet i already got one of those anyway if you enjoyed this video you might also like my hypixel glitches playlist five videos there and still no game breaker hypixel if you're not going to give out game breakers for bugs like this then my only incentive to report this shit is not getting banned that's enough i guess subscribe today become an asshole and as always keep it fresh please give me a game breaker hypixel bands are way less cool